Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Um, it is a cold, rainy day here in Massachusetts. And I decided it was a great time to go for a run. I'm running up these neighborhood hills, up and down, just trying to keep it flowing, keep the workouts coming. Rain, shine, snow. We can be out here working hard. Uh, if you guys enjoy this content, all the different things I've been posting, a lot of trampoline videos, fitness stuff. Thanks for the support. Really appreciate it if you like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, so we're just running. Um, I was gonna talk a little bit about mental toughness. You know, cold, rainy day, end of November in Massachusetts. Great time to not only work on your fitness, but also your mental toughness. You know, that, that part of your mind, your body telling you to take a nap, telling you to just sit on the couch, telling you to take a day off, you know, because it's raining. It's, it's rainy, it's cold, really easy time, right? To just say, screw it, I'm not gonna run today. But that's how you make those gains. That's how you separate yourself from the winners and the wannabes. Because trust me, there's gonna be a lot more wannabes when it's raining, when it's cold, when it's early morning, when it's snowing. Kind of out of breath here. I'm trying to run up this hill and talk at the same time. Great time to work on your intestinal fortitude, your persistence, your dedication to whatever your goal is. So if you guys have followed my channel for a bit, then you would realize that I had emergency surgery. Middle of September, I got in a bad accident, not a car accident. It was a training accident, doing training, balance type training that I like to do, involving uh, metal rails. <clears throat> I do quite a bit of that type of training in conjunction with parkour training. <clears throat> but anyways, I slipped, I fell, doing a balance challenge, hurt myself real bad. Ended up driving myself to the nearest hospital in Durango, Colorado, 20 miles away. Obviously scared, scared out of my mind. I was bleeding. To give you some information, it was a urethra injury. So what that means is I split my legs on this metal rail. <clears throat> I guess things can always be worse, right? But I'm telling you right now, you don't want the injury that I had. It was extremely painful. It was extremely scary. <sighs> I had to wait for over six hours in the emergency room, waiting for an operating room to become available with no clear, with no clear consensus from the doctors or the nurses as to what was gonna happen. They just told me, it's critical, you're in a severe condition and you need to have surgery, but there's not a room available. So I sat there for six hours, you know, praying, tried to make phone calls, different people. It was tough to really get myself to know should I, should I be calling my parents? It, that was kind of a tough decision. But anyways, it was really critical. Now we're two months out, you know. The doctors are still telling me every time I go in for a checkup, which is regular, I have to have very, very regular checkups now that they believe I need to have another surgery. So that's scary. Like I said, this is a urethra injury, very painful, very dangerous if you don't get it treated. I wasn't even able to use the bathroom on my own. I had to have a catheter for several weeks, then they took that out. Just a brutally, brutally painful operation to take out the catheter. So now, you know, I've been peeing and everything on my own for, for probably over a month at this point, and I've gotten back to exercise. The doctors have cleared me for exercise. 
but they have told me that they believe scar tissue is forming and that I will need another surgery. So why am I mentioning all these things? Well, a couple things. I wanted to make this video about mental toughness. You know, because I'm out here, I'm out here trying to control what I can control. I can't control whether or not I'm gonna need another surgery or whether or not the surgery is gonna mean that I'm in the same amount of pain as before, more pain, less pain. I can't really control any of that. But right now, I'm grateful that I'm around. I'm grateful that I can exercise. Even though I can't control whether or not I'm gonna get a, another surgery, which the doctors pretty much told me the scar tissue is forming and it's gonna happen. So I can't control any of that. But what I can control, decisions like this. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go outside in the rain, in the cold, and I'm gonna try to get myself healthier and better each day. And that's pretty much what I've been doing. It doesn't mean that I'm not scared, to be honest. The doctor pretty much told me that I'm gonna lose the ability to use the bathroom. That's a pretty scary thought if you really think about it. But I've already been there, you know? It sucks. But yeah, I was there. I had to drive myself to the emergency room in a critical condition. It was very clear that I couldn't use the bathroom based on circumstances and what the injury had apparently done to me and how much blood there was. It was very traumatic. But here I am, right? I'm still grateful to be alive. I'm here and every day I'm waking up, I'm setting goals for myself. I might not, I might not be as fast as I'd like to be. The injury I went through definitely made me pretty much not able to exercise at all for about six weeks and I definitely lost certainly some of the gains that I made when I was in Austin Texas over the summer but we're here I'm here right now I'm making this decision right now to run in the rain run in the cold get myself uncomfortable push myself past barriers through obstacles that's what I'm doing If I've even motivated just one person to get out there, get out there and try to work a little bit harder, please let me know in the comments. Let me know if you have any goals for yourself. Let me know if you have any dreams that you're working on. Let me know in the comments how you are making yourself uncomfortable. How are you making yourself better? How are you fighting against adversity? I'm gonna give a shout out to my cousin Gavin. Really inspired by Gavin. He actually wrote a book. I will link it here down in the description. I'm reading it right now. I bought the book. The book is called Laugh in the Face of Adversity. And I'm actually gonna do a full review on it. But this is my cousin Gavin. He's also been through a lot of adversity. I know that he actually got that quote, laugh in the face of adversity from talking to my dad, because my dad used to always tell us that when we were kids. So anyways, you guys should all pick up the book, take a look. He just, he just wrote it. And yeah, I mean, it really goes along with kind of what I'm doing right now, just trying to push through adversity. So let me know in the comments if you had a chance to check out the book, check out my boy Gavin. I will link his Instagram down in the description as well as his book and let me know please what are you guys doing to make yourselves better today and every day what are your goals what are your dreams please like comment subscribe if you're even just a little bit inspired and also let me know do you enjoy this type of motivational content thank you guys for watching